When the 2016 MacBook Pros came out, the touch bar was the party trick of the machine. A cool feature to show off to people who hadn't seen it before, but something that became a gimmick for most during daily use. It just didn't do anything better than a simple keyboard shortcut or the use of a mouse, and the apps that support it are not doing anything different with it. Apple hoped for more developer support, but there really wasn't much from their side, except for one app that is breathing new life into the touch bar. I'm Mitch, and this is a look at Better Touch Tool, a way to fully take control of that tiny bar on the top of your keyboard. Better Touch Tool isn't new by any means, with many features of it being available in other ways, like trackpad gestures and keyboard shortcuts. But after the announcement of the touch bar, there's a great new space to take advantage of. With six years of development and feature additions, Better Touch Tool is, for me, a must download in any computer that I'm using. The features that are offered make the use of a Mac much faster and more productive. In terms of pricing, Better Touch Tool runs on a pay what you want model, with the minimum price being around $3 for a license, which is an absolute steal. There are much less functional apps in the App Store being sold for much more. The developer also offers a 45 day free trial before requiring a license. This lets you use it yourself to see if it increases the speed of your workflow. Let's get into the app itself now though. To start off, grab the download from the website. I have it linked down below in the description. After opening it up for the first time, you have to grant permissions. But after that, you have full control to start customizing how you want everything to work. Depending on the computer you are using, there are a lot of different options available. Better Touch Tool is great even without a computer that has a touch bar, and I've used it for years with my MacBook Air. Personally, I think the coolest part about the touch bar comes after you start using Better Touch Tool to add whatever you want. To add something new to the touch bar, select the tab at the top. You can see the things that I have added to it, including shortcuts to Spotify, Final Cut, and Finder, along with a quick button for taking a screenshot. The sky is basically the limit though. If I want to add another app like Chrome, I can go to the Add Touch Bar button, add a name, and assign a function for that button. If you want to choose a different icon, there's a box that has hundreds of options. Now if you want the actual icon, there's a few ways to do it. Either downloading the icon from the internet, or getting it right from the resources of the app. To do that, go to the Applications folder, right click on the app that you're looking for, click Show Package Contents, then Resources, and from there you should find the app icon, which you can then drag and drop onto the icon box. On the touch bar, you will then see the name you gave the button is still there. To take that away, go into the advanced configuration and choose icon only, which will leave just the icon that you set before. Now if your icon actually disappears, go back into the advanced configuration and change the size from 1 to 22 for both sizes. There are so many options and buttons that you can add to your touch bar and anything else as well. For the trackpad, I have a 5 finger swipe down that quickly locks the computer if I'm just walking away for a second and want my data to be secure. When I get back, I can quickly unlock and get right back to work. This is just scratching the surface of the functionality of this piece of software. If you use a Mac for any type of work, or even just want to make using your computer more efficient, check this out and leave your uses for it down below in the comments. I'd love to know how you use it. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Let me know what you want to see on this channel. I've got some great videos coming up, but if you want to see anything special from me, leave it down below. Thanks again for watching.